Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. You are listening to The Brilliance Business Show. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. Conversations with leading experts in business. And today I have a wonderful guest, Alice Law. Alice is from Lawali Life and our topic today is stripping away stress. Alice, welcome to the Brilliance Business Show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. I'm really looking forward to a conversation with you today. Before I get started, I just need to make a legal disclaimer that Alice is not offering legal advice or legal assistance. So let's get started with the show. Alice, can you share with our listeners a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm a stress management and holistic performance coach. I'm a speaker, um, a co-author now of the law of brand attraction. And I'm also, I do, I'm a Reiki and intuitive expert. So I work very holistically with people with their mind and soul and helping them to strip away and prevent stress as much as possible. There is a lot of stress in the world, especially in this current moment. Things do slowly, slowly seem to be starting to get better. But there's a lot of stress out there, Alice. So I really, really do appreciate what you're doing in this world and helping people. Tell me, how do you help people? How do you help them to strip away the stress? And also, I'd like to know a little bit more about Reiki as well. Yeah, of course. So yeah, like I said, I mean, I work with clients one to one and I work with corporations as well. But when I've been work- or, you know, doing group workshops and things like that, but when I work with people, it's all about mind and soul synergy. So getting the mind and soul to work together to help prevent stress because I'm a massive believer that you can have as calm a mind as you like but if your soul is stressed in itself because you're not living true to what you believe and your values and your authentic self then you're going to feel stressed because you're not going to feel as calm and centered as you should do and equally you can have as calm a soul as you like but if you don't know how to quiet your mind and free yourself from negative self-talk and really get in control of your mind you'll also feel stress because your mind will keep bringing you back to the stress and the negativity so for me it's a two-part process and I have a sort of formula I put together so to speak that's what I call triple PI that I work with clients with which is perspective presence purpose and intuition and the perspective and the presence are really about the mind and the purpose and your intuition are really about the soul and your energy um So, I mean, for me, like you say, Reiki has been a huge part of my energy learnings. And I do Reiki for clients that want it and things like that. But Reiki, it's really, um, to answer your question what Reiki is, it's really, it's an energy healing, but it's about realigning your energy in your body. So we all have a energetic system in our body, just like we're all made of energy. That's what, you know, quantum physics, et cetera, has shown us that we're in, in a universal energy we're in a universe of energy we're energy ourselves and so just like you have a physical body you also have an energetic body and that needs looking after and we have seven chakras that run from you know above our head all the way down to the base of our spine these mean various things and you have to make sure that those are all in balance so that you can have the free flow of energy spinning through each one that helps us feel calm and centered and well full of energy as well You answered that beautifully, Alice. I have to agree with you. Quieting the mind is so, so important. And I loved what you said about the soul as well, having that soul connection. I know myself when I stick to my rituals of doing meditation, being present and really 
even like affirmations, the way you talk to yourself, these things are so, so important. I've had bad mindset and I've had good mindset and I know what I prefer. It's really, really important to be in balance. And sometimes that is hard, Alice. It isn't easy. It is something you have to be ritualistic about every day would you agree with me on that yeah absolutely I actually um I always say calmness is a skill because in my work because I believe we're all born calm it's our natural state but calmness is a skill we now all need to relearn because if it wasn't then the whole world would be stress-free and it's very clearly not <laughs> so, I do agree with you I'm not perfect I have great days at the moment I'm on a really good path I'm being really really strict with my rituals meditation I do a little bit of self self-hypnosis which works amazing for me as mm. well but it is all about being in that present moment and you have to take time for yourself to get into that state. But when you do, you get so much more done, you feel better, you just work harder, but it just flows and you just don't get those stresses. You think better, you make better choices Again, you touched on quantum physics, which I also am a massive, massive fan of. And I just love the way that spirituality and science are now coming together. And it's scientifically proven that everything to a certain level is connected, no matter how far the distance we are from something we are all energetically connected. We have a lot in common, Alice. I would like your take on that a little bit, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree. I think it's that whole thing of everyone's experience to just sort of make that point proven to people when they think, you know, are we all energetically connected? I think everyone's experienced the, you know, the moment, for example, where you're thinking of ringing someone and then they ring your phone and you pick up and you say, oh, my God, I was just going to call you. And they say, oh, me too. You know, it's that, that thing. It's constantly we're always connected to things. And I think it's just really about realizing that when you realize how connected you are to everything and your own energy and your soul and other people, then you can really make that work to your advantage. You can really have as calm and great an energy as you'd like. And I would like to give everyone a little project out there that some people still may think, oh, it's a load of, uh, what's the word? What, um, I can't think of the word offhand, but a little bit woohoo is what I'm thinking. (laughs) A lot of people out there, I would say, go onto YouTube and look at some quantum physics have a look at the split experiment, do your own research where they take particles and they move one particle and the other particle moves exactly the same times. And they have done this in tests and they have taken it miles and miles and miles apart. And the the particles are energetically connected and Mm. Everything is like a wave function and it also can be a particle at the same time. I would urge everyone to get into quantum physics. It tells you so much about the universe, how things work, and it really opens you up to being more open-minded to that there is a bigger, bigger picture of what we don't see to the naked eye. Now, Alice... Can you share a little about the product and the service that you pr- provide to your clients and your customers? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I do, I've worked with clients one to one previously and still do that now. And I've done, you know, work with corporations and banks and do work group workshops. But at the moment, because of everything that's happened with lockdown, and I was thinking about it before, I've actually been putting together my new online monthly membership, which is launching 
um, next week, actually, while launching, they're opening the doors next week. <laughs> and uh, that's basically, I wanted to put it together because I wanted more people to be able to have access and make stripping away stress simple. I think there's a lot of amazing meditation apps out there, for example, or bits like that, or there's one-to-one coaching, but I didn't see there was anything in the middle for stress. And it's going to be super low cost and something that there'll be a community. So a community of people who want to live their calmest, best versions of themselves. You know, you'll be coached by me every month and you'll get a guest expert masterclasses from the amazing people I know and different meditations and tools and exclusive podcasts. And just, it'll basically be a center for calm, but something you can come back to and have support with. So to make stress a thing of the past and um, stripping it away simple, really. Well, it sounds amazing and it's great that it's open to everybody. It's not too expensive, but there's great, great value in what you're offering. Having a community is great for stress, knowing that there are other people in the same boat and going towards the same dreams and desires and working on the same goals as you. How can people get involved in this, Alice? Yeah, absolutely. There's um, On my website, uh, there's a wait list on the website now. So anyone who joins the wait list will get the founding members 25% off discount. So it's only going to be £28 a month, which in dollars, I guess, is $33 or something. I'm not very good at the, <laughs> the changing, but it's um, something like that. And it's, um, yeah, the wait list is on my website. Um, and my website is www.lawali-life.com. Um, so that's, yeah, L-A-W-A-L-I. And you can find it all on there or on my Instagram. I've got information on it as well with the wait list there. So I would just urge you to spell that out for her listeners today yeah, just so sure. that it's really crystal clear for people yeah so it's www.lawali-life.com and i will be sure that on the radio um article we have a nice link there for people to make it a lot easier for people to find no I'm really excited to chat about what I want to chat about next, Alice. The Law of Brand Attraction, the new book by the amazing Sammy Blindle, a collaboration book. It has huge, huge experts. Bob Doyle, that was a star of The Secret Movie, that is such a successful film. Marie Diamond, both of them I've been lucky enough to interview. Also, my own coach of 12 months is involved in the law of brand attraction, Pete Cohen, an incredible, credible coach. This book is really making an impact, isn't it? It's already made number one bestseller in many different categories, Alice. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a whirlwind actually. <laughs> it's such a nice surprise because we obviously we were so excited to do it, and Sammy asked us to put it all together during lockdown, and we had a ten day turnaround, and it was. Um, it was inc- incredible, but also, you know, quite a lot. And so there were mixed, you know, feelings back and forth. And everyone's like, can we do it? And you know, we did. And then the amazing part was that, yeah, it went to number one in six different countries. And it was in- incredible. The way it's been received is amazing because it really, we just wanted to create something that would help people who were struggling with their business and their mindset as well around their business at the time. And that's what it really is. You know, it's a combination of, 22 different authors who've given either their business strategies or their social impact strategies like you know mine's obviously around stress um and then different things in there branding etc so you really get i think there's such a power in collaboration and that's what sammy's always so great at pulling people together and you really get you know various people with different things i mean i was so excited to (laughs) collaborate with Bob Doyle and Marie Diamond. I think The Secret was the first book I ever read in this industry Me many too. years ago. So <laughs> it was amazing to be in a book with them. It felt like a dream. Um, so, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's great. And it's had a great, great um, impact so far. And what's even better for us is that all the money's going to an incredible 
children's mental health charity called Clear Sky. So that was an even even greater thing because the more books we sold, the more you know more money we make for them. So, and that's just great. Sammy has such a heart, and that's why she's giving all back to charity, which makes the project even more exciting. You did touch on it's a collaboration, but also when you go to the law of brand attraction.com, you will also be added into the community group as well. So not only are you giving to charity, you become part of a bigger community of like minded people or on a great path. So I would like to go a little bit more in depth. You mentioned your chapter is about stress. Can you tell us a few tips of what you share in your chapter? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my uh, my chapter is um, it's largely around my story behind stress and why I know and believe it is such a you know it's its own mental pandemic and it is the silent killer really of our happiness and energy and beyond. And um, my story talks about how I you know came into all of this, went to what I call stress school in life for <laughs> seven years. When I won't say the ins and outs in this this bit, but yeah, I lost my dad to stress one year ago and. So for me, I wanted to, you know, relay that story to people and make people understand that preventing stress as much as curing it is something that we really need to do. And if you're not doing that with yourself, then you're not going to be able to turn up in your business the way you want to. You know, we're 31% less productive when we're stressed and working from an unhappy headspace. So I talk about that story and then it really comes back to my four pillars again, that perspective, presence, purpose and intuition. So shifting your perspective on stress you know we need to expand our perspective so that we can shift it and be able to see stress in a different way what winds us up in a different way you know be able to calm ourselves down more easily you know get into that presence which we we talked about already it's so 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 important we spend so much time ruminating about the past and worrying about the future that we're missing what's going on around us and also tapping into our purpose so connecting to our true authentic soul self and our intuition, which is guiding you, and it's your energy system, and it's something again that if you're really stressed, you're not going to be able to hear that voice. That's not the fear-based voice in your head; it's the calm one in your center. So that's why I kind of touch on in there. And obviously, people can get more and more information about that from you know the book itself and um, my website. But yeah, it's, it was an amazing chapter to write. It was uh, a really exciting project. Absolutely beautiful. You touched on intuition again. I have great intuition, but sometimes we don't listen to it, do we, Alice? And that can get us into all sorts of trouble. But as well, when you don't listen to it, there is also a lesson and you learn a good lesson from it. But if only you would have listened to your intuition in the beginning I know your chapter has got so much value. This book is a life changer. It's bringing the law of attraction and business together. And in my eyes, that is a recipe for success. In a few words, what will people gain from going to the law of brand attraction or going to your website, Alice, to grab a copy of this amazing book? It's really for me, it's just about it's about inspiration. So if you're feeling deflated and not feeling stuck, you know, you don't know which way to turn next in your business. There's so many different avenues that you can find information from in this book that will either inspire you to think of a new idea yourself to turn things around or just give you a tool you need that will give you a different idea to turn it around from someone else's idea or equally the mindset shift you need, because that's to me, 70 percent of the battle and 30% is the business. So yeah, it's really, it's a book of inspiration that'll help you move forward. So, so important. And I know that this book, it's got something for everyone. There's definitely going to be an expert in this book to suit your needs right at this present moment. Now we touched on your products and services a little bit, Alice. What kind of people do you normally work with? I want our listeners to think that's me. I must go to the Wally Life website and start working with you. Who are the typical people that really 
could do with your product or service? Yeah, so I mean, one-to-one, it's been leaders. You know, I've worked actually largely with men between 35 and 45 has been my sort of one-to-one client base. But equally women, it's leaders who are stressed in high-pressure jobs or entrepreneurs. But the Calm Collective, my new membership, that's really, it's it's lowering sort of the expectation. So you don't have to be able to afford one-to-one coaching. And that's what's great about it. It's for people who want to be the best version of themselves. They know they get stressed. They don't want to live in a stressed way, but they're, you know, they have anxiety in their lives or they have pressures and they don't feel as connected and as happy as they should, but they know that they're capable of it. And they also want to, you know, expand their spiritual development as well as their mindset, as well as learning to calm their mind. It's about the people who want to work for your mind and your soul to get the best results possible and to live a stress-free life as possible. Alice, I really admire what you're doing in this world. You're a successful businesswoman helping and serving others. You have been successful with your one-to-one coaching. You're now opening opening it up to one-to-many to serve lots, lots more people. You're part of a really super successful number one best-selling book, The Law of Brand Attraction. I want to know... What's new for Alice? What are you working on right now outside of what we have already spoken about? I can see really bright things for your future. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you, Mark. I mean, I'm always working on my podcasts. I do. I have a podcast that um, I interview different people or different leaders in their fields from, you know, authors, CEOs, um, all sorts, neuroscientists. I just interviewed a guy who was on death row for 22 years. For a I've seen it. I've seen it. Great, great episode. So, oh, I'm so glad. But yeah, he just blows me away. So it's, I interview people like him on the greatest stresses and losses they've had to overcome and how they came back from it. So it's it's a series of comebacks and inspiration, just reminding everyone that, you know, we all go through great stresses and losses, but there's always a way back. And so the people I interview talk about their different experiences and, I always always get a new episode out and I love doing that. And then what I'm working on behind the scenes is writing my own book as well, but that'll take a while. (laughs) Well, every book starts with the first chapter and I'm really looking forward to when that does come out. You'll have to come on my show again and we'll talk, talk all about that. And just as I interrupted you, I think you were mentioning the interview that you did, which was totally incredible. It was someone that was falsely accused of being on death row. Is that correct? Yeah, it was a, it's a guy called Nick Yaris, who he's a speaker and a writer now, but he was put on death row for 22 years for the rape and murder of a woman he'd never even met. And he was the first guy in the world to get off from DNA evidence because when he was convicted, DNA evidence wasn't even a thing. And it became such when he was actually in prison. And he saw it in a newspaper article that was passed through his cell door one day and realized, oh, my God, because he knew he was innocent. This is how I get off. And eventually it took him another 11 years after that to get it all put through. And it happened. But he was, you know, he's an incredible, incredible person. And listening to him just reminds you of, he's the biggest perspective shift you can have if you're having a down day. He's just so unangry and such a kind human to have come out of such a horrible circumstance. So I love interviewing people like him. (laughs) How can people get to your podcast to check out your show? Yeah, absolutely. So I have it on Apple Podcasts and also on Spotify. And it's just Lawali Life, Alice Law. So it's L-A-W-A-L-I Life again. Alice, you are an incredible soul, an incredible human being. I've really enjoyed having a conversation with you. Is there anything you would like to share that we have not covered? No, I mean, we shared, I've covered everything with the work. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk about everything. But the one thing I will say is that calmness is a skill. And I hope that it's one that more and more people decide to relearn over the coming years because as we've seen the world just seems to be getting more and more stressful on the outside but what we've always got control over is our inner response and our inner you know changing our reactions and so that's where our greatest strength lies so 
My last question for you, Alice, please share with our listeners once more, how can people connect with you? How can people follow you? Yeah, so my website is www.lawali-life.com. So that's L-A-W-A-L-I hyphen L-I-F-E dot com. And then you can also find me on Instagram at lawali underscore life. And I'm also on LinkedIn as Alice Law, Stress Management Coach. And my podcast, again, is Lawali Life on Apple and Spotify. Alice, thank you so much for being my guest today. I really enjoyed a conversation with you. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's been wonderful talking to you. The feeling is mutual. You have been listening to The Brilliance Business Show conversations with leading experts in business thanks for listening to business innovators radio to hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today